right guys so um, this will just be a quick video um, on the six steps to becoming a consistently profitable trader now this may be one of the more important videos that I make only because um, you know this is a common problem among newer traders newer traders need to hear a message like this uh, because what often happens is they um, are overconfident in the beginning and uh, they overtrade and they get discouraged uh, when they lose money and eventually give up and this is a very common pattern so so newer for newer traders they need to re to realize that this is a long-term process and they have to think long term about this you know anybody can place a winning trade um, but not anybody can be consistent and, and it's about developing consistency um, is the key to uh, becoming successful at this okay so these are the six steps and I believe if you follow uh, these six steps you will become a profitable trader in time you know it's just a matter of time um, anybody can do this they just have to put in the time um, and so we start by simply getting the right tools and studying and just watching the market every day um, and then we graduate to paper trading um, to gain consistency um, and only once we have become consistent uh, when we're paper trading only then do we transition to using real money and this is an important step um, because a lot of people don't paper trade they skip this step um, and I think to their own peril um, you know they say you don't need to paper trade because there's no emotion in paper trading right you get that argument a lot um, you know but that's precisely the point there is no emotion in paper trading so that's why paper trading is good because it teaches you how to trade without emotion so you want to paper trade and feel what it's like to trade without emotion because that's how you should be trading that's how the veteran traders the millionaire traders trade they trade without emotion and that's what paper trading does is it teaches you how to trade without emotion to get that feel first and only then uh, once you become consistent is when we transition to using real money with tiny position sizes I mean very very tiny position sizes only like less than a hundred shares I would say you know maybe like fifty dollar positions something so small that um, it wouldn't break your bank you know if you continually lose because that's that's what will happen in the beginning you will continually uh, and consistently lose every new trader um, gets crushed by the market in the beginning and so that's why you need to start with very 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 small position sizes and and that's why I recommend um, brokers uh, that are free f you know for beginners you know like whether it's Webull or Robinhood or choice trade just find a broker that doesn't charge commissions and you won't have to worry about you know t small position sizes and and wasting bleeding your account away um, on commissions and and so once you um, make that transition and maintain the consistency um, you know with your small position sizes only then do you gradually scale up uh, your position sizes because if you can be consistent with small positions then you you'll be consistent with larger positions you know the the scaling up process is very straightforward up to a point I should say I mean, there there comes a point you know maybe beyond 5,000 or 10,000 shares or so that um, you have to consider other factors like um, the delay in your fills and um, liquidity and so forth but um, for in the beginning you won't have to worry about that you can be very nimble and very quick 
in getting in and out of your positions as you scale up. And so um, and if you can maintain the consistency, um, that's the goal. And if you happen to lose consistency, which will happen because the market is ever fluid, it's ever changing, and strategies that work one month may not work the next month, um, when you lose your consistency, you simply have to adjust quickly. You have to scale back or trade less and um, adjust to the market and then start, o start over again. You know, trade with small positions until you can regain consistency and then gradually scale up again. And that's basically the cycle that you have to repeat over and over again as the market continu continually shifts and um, and you continually adapt to it and if you can to if you can do this uh, then you will become consistent and you will become profitable and this is all there is to it these six steps are um, encapsulate what every successful trader does basically you know um, in order to make the money that they make. You know, as you often hear, uh, most traders, about 90% 90, 90 uh, fail. And the reason why they fail is because they simply are not able to mitigate their losses in the beginning. And that's what these six steps are all about. They're all about mitigating your losses as much as possible. You know, that's why we start with paper trading. That's why we start with tiny position sizes. And that's why we only gradually scale up over time um, while maintaining consistency. You know, the, the whole point of this is to get uh, repetition. It's all about repetition, um, getting enough trade trades under your belt uh, to eventually absorb and and figure out figure out the market. You know, because if you go in with large size, you know you can be done. You can blow up your account in two or three trades easily and you'll be done and you won't have those repetitions you won't have the screen time under your belt to really grow uh, into this <clears throat> so I put it together a slightly more detailed version of this slide and I go into just a little bit more detail uh, here so for getting the right tools you know I won't go into too much detail, but I just list a few things here, like think or swim, stocks to trade. Uh, for a stock scanner, I really like trade ideas um, as my personal favorite. Um, also TOS and stocks to trade. Um, for a broker, as I mentioned, uh, for beginners, you'll want to use a free broker only because you're, you're gonna be starting with very, very small positions. Um, so you know, maybe start with Webull, Choice Trade, Ustock Trade, or Robinhood um, in the beginning. Um, and then, you know, for your study and screen time, uh, screen time is more important than, than studying or watching videos. You just need to watch the market every day. You need to put yourself in front of that um, screen and watch the market because that's how you will pick up on the patterns. That's the only way that you'll 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 learn the patterns and you'll see what repeats itself over time is by just putting in that screen time. And in your spare time, you know, if you're in the car, driving in the car, at the gym, wherever you are, um, you can watch YouTube videos, watch DVDs. Um, I also recommend joining free tr uh, chat rooms. Cam the Man is a is a new chat room that uh, opened up this year. I often recommend him to newer traders. He's great and free. Um, <clears throat> uh, there's also other uh, paid chat rooms that you can join. I like recommending Deckmar to newer traders because um, he doesn't over trade. You know, he can go a day or two without having to trade, and and I like that about him. He's very restrained in his trading style, which is different from warrior trading. Um, you know, uh, Ross is great, you know, I recommend him a lot, but 
for newer traders, you don't want to get caught up in that scalping mentality that that Ross does, um, you know, at Warrior Trading. Um, so um, for a newer trader, you, you have to just develop the mentality of uh, one trade per day, and that's the goal. You know, even less, you know, if you're in a slow market. And as I mentioned here in, in step three, um, you just want to hone one or two strategies, and that's it. Do not trade anything else besides those one or two strategies. And um, stick to your rules, journal your progress, and, um, you know, the goal is at least three consecutive green weeks uh, while you're paper trading you know, with one trade per day max um, before transitioning to real money. And um, and so once you get comfortable with those one or two strategies, transition to real money uh, with those same strategies. And again, the goal is not to make money yet because you're going to be trading with very, very small positions. Um, the goal is simply to maintain consistency. Um, and then if you can do that, then gradually scale up um, while maintaining your consistency and slowly increasing your position size. And at this point, you know, you can maybe graduate from a free broker to maybe a paid broker that might have faster executions and other features that you will need uh, as you um, increase your position size. You know, especially when you get in um, larger positions like 2,000, 5,000 shares, um, you'll need um, a broker with much faster executions. So that will be a, a, a very um, important uh, concern for you as you scale up. And of course, as I mentioned before, if you lose consistency, put yourself in trader rehab, you know, put the trading wheels back on, Go back to tiny position sizes, um, you know, $50 positions, one trade per day max. Don't overtrade. Avoid that trap of overtrading because that is the trap that most new traders get into. And that's why they fail is because they overtrade in the beginning. So um, burn this into your head. One trade per day max. Um, this should be the goal, you know, and in a slower market, you should be okay with not even trading an entire day. You know, this, you need to get to the point where you can just watch the market and not get FOMO and um, just stick to your str the st the strategies that worked for you and, and don't jump off uh, onto everything that just moves because that's how you will lose money. Okay, um, so I think that is that will be it for this video. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you can follow these st six steps, man, I'm telling you, you will become consistent. You will become profitable, and you can do this um, if you just put in the time. Even within six months, I would say six months to a year, um, you can develop consistency, and that's the goal. Okay, all right, take care, guys.